I'm a core member of the youth ministry. So when I was younger, um, my parents would all make me and my sisters get up and get ready for church every Sunday, and I absolutely dreaded it. I did not want to get up. I would rather sleep in and act like I'm asleep, and eventually they would wake me up and I would be dragged there. So I used to come to church and I would barely pay attention. Um, the songs during Mass, they were super boring and I would fall asleep during them. And the words that were spoken by the priest were kind of more of a background noise to my daydreaming. Um, but eventually, when I got a little older, my older sister, Selena, she dragged me to youth group with her. And I really didn't want to go, but of course she was my sister, so I just went with her. Um, and this was really the initial change as to how my priorities kind of shifted within my faith. I was introduced to so many different people and placed in a bunch of different situations that I would have never been in before. Um, like coat drives, canned food drives, Christmas caroling at nursing homes, um, Steubenville. And all of these things really opened up my eyes to the ways that I could serve the Lord and my community. And when I first started youth group, there were two strong women leading it. There was Miss Judy, and there was also Miss, Miss Carmen Kakakios. And these two women showed me what it really meant to complete tasks of meaning. They gave me an outlet so I could work towards a similar goal with a bunch of different people. Um, and I grew really close to these two women, and one day they noticed a change in me. Um, they noticed that something was off in me and that I wasn't as outgoing and talkative as I usually was, and I also had, fist, had missed a few youth group meetings. So have you guys ever felt sad, alone, or angry? And like instead of dealing with the feeling, you kind of alienated yourself away from everyone else? Um, you take yourself away from the people and the things that you enjoyed, and um, this is just kind of how I felt at that moment. So Mrs. Judy and Miss Carmen, they actually noticed this and they came right to my house with two pizza pies. So it was really nice. And they just basically talked to me and let me know that I had people that loved me and cared about me and that I could rely on. And these women really um, opened me up and I knew that I could trust them and it opened my eyes to the fact that the whole youth group and the core team were people that I really could trust. Miss Carmen and Miss Judy and the rest of their core team made serving the Lord something that I was really interested in by allowing me to see it in a more fun and exciting way, um, rather than the same background noise that I usually heard in church. And they incorporated the lessons from the masses into the youth meetings, which helped me better understand them. So now, Miss Judy actually left me a voicemail and she said that God told her that I should come and help her lead the youth ministry. And I'm so blessed for her to have left me that voicemail, and now I just play it randomly and just listen to it. Um, so now I'm a part of the youth ministry, and I'm hopeful to help open the eyes of all of you um, so you can see the power of trusting in God and in the youth group leaders and your peers from the youth ministry. Um, also, I became a mother last year, and now I try my absolute hardest to incorporate God into his life. Um, Miss Judy was so understanding with the fact that I have a one-year-old son, so she lets me bring him along to our youth meetings, and he's now our official youth ministry mascot. Um, so I am super blessed to have such an amazing and understanding group of people to work with, and I hope you guys will all join us in the youth ministry. Give it up for Alyssa. Thank you for sharing.